All right then, so now we have our dashboard and the nested components there. The templates are pretty much done. Now, at the end of all this, what we want to happen is that when a user clicks on one of these summaries, the title, for example, we direct them to the project details component of that project. So let me just bore you with this diagram once again. This thing right here, this project details component should load up when a user clicks on one of those titles. And the route for this project details component is going to be forward slash project forward slash ID. And this ID is a route parameter. It's going to change dependent on the project we want to view. So if it's five, then it's going to be forward slash project forward slash five, etc. And then we see that project details. So if we were to click on this, and this had an ID of three, then it would take us to forward slash project forward slash three. We'd see the project details component and load up that project in there, okay? So we're not gonna link these up in this video. What we're gonna do is just create the project details component and create a route for it, and then we can visit it manually inside the address bar over here. So then, let's first of all create that component. Now, before I do, I wanted to show you this extension that I've got installed for VS Code, and it's gonna really help you out. It just basically provides you with shortcuts for React snippets. So it's called ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippets. So you download that if you wanna follow along. I'm gonna be using things like this, RFE and then tab, and that's gonna create a functional component for me. So I will go now to the project details component and I'll say RFE tab to create that functional component. Okay, so let's do the template. I'm gonna delete the div to begin with, create our own div, and this is gonna have a class of container, materialized class, section, and then also my own class, project hyphen details. Okay, so inside that div, I want to create a card for the project. So again, we'll use a materialized class, card, and then another class, z hyphen depth hyphen zero to take away the drop shadow. Then we want some card content, so div.card hyphen content. And then inside that we want a title, so span.card hyphen title. Now inside here we'll just output the project title, which will ultimately be dynamic. For now we're just hard coding it, so project title. And then underneath that we'll do a p tag, and inside here some lorem ipsum, so just lorem tab and away we go. All right, so after the card content, we want also to show who it's by, who created the project, and also the date. And that is gonna go in the card actions. So this is gonna be another materialized class called card action, and it creates a bit of a footer for the card. So div.card hyphen action, and then we'll color this as a gray background, and we'll also say lighten that by four shades, so a light gray background, and then also gray text, so gray hyphen text. Tab, and inside we want a div for the author, so we'll say posted by the net ninja, and then below that we'll do another div for the date, and we'll say 2nd of September, 2 a.m. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the template inside this component. We've exported it, so what we could do now is set up a route for it inside app.js. So let's import that component first of all. Import, and it's project details from dot forward slash components to go into the components folder. Then we want to jump into the projects folder. Then we want the project details. Okay. So now let's set up the route for that. And the path is gonna be, remember, forward slash project, and then forward slash, then we need a route parameter, so colon ID. So ID is the name that I'm giving to this route parameter. And then we wanna load up a component when a user goes to this, and that component is gonna be the thing we just imported, project details. Okay, cool. So now let's try going to this URL. So in the browser, I'm gonna to go to forward slash project and then forward slash three, any old project. And notice we still get this thing right here instead of the project details page. Now, why is that? And that is because this route right here is still matching what we type up in the address bar. 
So even though it's not exactly the same, we're still getting just forward slash inside the route. So this is a match. Now, in order to combat that, we just have to add in exact right here. So now this will only load up if the exact path is forward slash and not just if forward slash exists in the path. So let's save that and view this again. Now we get the project details. Awesome. So we'll do one more thing in this tutorial, and that is to detect the route parameter, the ID, in this case three, inside this component and then output it because ultimately we're going to use that ID to query a database and to get some data, the project with the ID of three or five. So let us now extract that inside the project details component. So what I'd like to do inside this is take in the props. Now, when we use the React router like this to load in a particular component, the React router attaches some props automatically inside that component. And those props contain details about the router. So for example, if I console.log the props down here and then view this in the browser, we're gonna see these. So I'll go to inspect, then I'll open up the console over here and we can see this is the props object. And right here, we have some router information, the history, so where have we been in the past, the location that we're currently on, which is this thing right here, and also inside the match property, we can find out the route parameter. So we have a property called params inside match, and we can see the ID is three. So inside this component, we can extract the ID information from the URL. So let's do that. Let us now, instead of this over here, create a variable. So I'll say const ID is going to be equal to the props dot match where we just looked. Then it was on a property called params then dot ID. So now we're storing the ID inside this thing right here and we can output that in the template. So I'll just output ID inside curly braces because it's dynamic right here. So let's save that and view this in a browser. And now we can see the ID on the component itself. Now, if I change this thing right here to seven, then we see seven. If I change it to Yoshi, then we see Yoshi. If I change this to Mario, then we see Mario. You get the idea. We're just basically picking up on this thing right here, okay? So we're grabbing that and we're outputting it to the template. So now we've done the project details component. In the next video, I'd like to move on and tackle now, if we look at this diagram, the sign-in and sign-up components.